सो चिल्ड्रन लेट्स डिस्कस द वोकैबलरी ऑफ रीडिंग सी आई विल डू इट ओके सो होप यू ऑल आर एबल टू सी द स्क्रीन हि वॉट इज द वोकैबलरी वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूट्स सो वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूट्स आर नथिंग बट द वन वर्ड आंसर फॉर ए सेंटेंस ओके नाउ लुक एट द अंडरलाइन वर्ड्स इन द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस फ्रॉम द लेसन two sentences are given here let's go through it the first one is today he has become an icon of simplicity uncompromising quality and fairness apart from being a philanthropist right so here the word philanthropist is underlined now moving to the second sentence he become a pioneer of india's software industry and started the information technology way so here in these two sentences the word philanthropist in the first sentence and pioneer in the second sentences are underlined right what is the meaning of philanthropist a philanthropist is one who devotes his service or wealth for the love of mankind okay the one word substitute for what a person who devotes his service or wealth for the love of mankind is called as philanthropist such type of persons are called as philanthropist so the one word substitute for that one is philanthropist right and in the second sentence the word pioneer what is the meaning of pioneer a pioneer is a person who is the first to study and develop a particular area of knowledge culture etc the other people then continue to develop okay such person is called as the pioneer that means the first person so the substitute for this meaning is your word pioneer okay so you have observed that the meaning of a group of words is substituted with a word as in sentence 1 and 2 which replace a group of words a full sentence effectively without creating any kind of ambiguity in the meaning of the sentences are called one word substitute ambiguity means what without changing the meaning the main purpose of using one word substitutes is to express the idea precisely and accurately without changing the meaning of the sentence right now moving to the next page see here one table is there this is a list of one word substitutes okay so here what it is given the word is given and the meaning for what we are substituting is also given so let's go through the table the first one is fatalist what is the meaning of fatalist a person who believes in fate is called as fatalist okay the one word substitute for a person who believes in fate what is the meaning of fate in luck okay is what fatalist so this list you have to remember because you can get questions from this list also now moving to the second one centenarian okay what is the meaning of centenarian a person who is above 100 years is called as centenarian okay now moving to the third one omnipresent what is the meaning of omnipresent yes one who is present everywhere is called as omnipresent we say right god is omnipresent that means god is everywhere so the one word substitute for one who is present everywhere is omnipresent okay now moving to the next one mercenary what is the meaning of mercenary a person who can do anything for money okay the one word substitute for a person who can do anything for money is mercenary we can say he is mercenary that means he can do anything for money now the next word is misogynist what is the meaning of misogynist one who hates women okay the one word substitute for a person who hates women is what misogynist now moving to the next one monogamy what is the meaning of monogamy a practice of having one wife or one husband okay 
the replacing word for this is what monogamy now moving to the next word autobiography already you know the meaning of this one right a life history written by oneself is called as autobiography that means the person has written his story by own now next is what biography a life history written by somebody else okay that is called as biography that means if somebody has written one person's life story that is biography if he has written by himself his life history that is called as autobiography now moving to the next one is what honorary what is the meaning of honorary already you know honor right honor means what giving respect a position for which no salary is paid okay honorary that means a position for which no salary is paid now moving to the last word what is this ambiguous ambiguous means what a sentence whose meaning is unclear is called as ambiguous okay this list you have to remember now moving to the question what is the question given here tick the most appropriate one word substitute for the following okay one sentence is given and you have to choose the correct substitute word for the sentence okay four options are given so let's see the first one a person or thing that cannot be corrected okay can you tell me which one is the correct substitute for this one so what are the options given the first one is intelligible next one indecible next is illegible next is incorrigible okay so which one is the correct one yes that is the option d incorrigible incorrigible means what a person or thing that cannot be corrected is called as incorrigible okay now moving to the second one a person of good understanding knowledge and reasoning power okay so we have to find the one word substitute for this meaning so what are the options given the first one is expert b is intellectual c is soap d is literate so a person of good understanding knowledge and reasoning power is called as what yes that is b intellectual okay the one word substitute for this one is b option that is intellectual okay now moving to the third one a person who knows many languages so what is the substitute word for this one the options are given the first one a linguist next is grammarian next polyglot next is bilingual can you tell me yes that is polyglot okay polyglot means what a person who knows many languages are called as polyglot bilingual means two languages okay now the fourth one is one who possesses many talents is called as what so what are the options given a versatile b prodigy c exceptional d gifted which one is the correct one we use gifted also but which which is the correct substitute word yes that is a versatile okay a person who have many talents are called as versatile now moving to the last bit words inscribed on a tomb the words or the letters written on the tombs you know tombs right now words inscribed on a tomb or written on a tomb are what so let's see what are the options given the first one is epitome b is epistle c is epilogue the d option is epita so the correct one is option d epitaph epitaph means what the words written on a tomb okay when a person dies on the samadhi the names are written right so mainly that are called as epitaph that means the words or something is written on the tomb right the words written on the tomb are called as epitaph so hope you understood about this one word substitutes